Real Madrid are historically the transfer market's highest spenders. They've set the world record transfer fee several times and never hesitate to dip into their pockets to try and assemble their world 11 of Galacticos. However, when it comes to South American forwards, specifically Brazilians, in the last 30 years or so, their arch rivals Barcelona have beaten them to the most prized signatures, such as Romario, Ronaldo, Rivaldo, Ronaldinho and Neymar each of whom are considered to be among the best players of their generations. Now that's not to say Real Madrid haven't had great Brazilian players of their own. Roberto Carlos and Marcelo for example are two of the best fullbacks of all time who both enjoyed their most productive years at the Santiago Bernabeu. But then there's cases like Rabinho, someone who had all the talent to be in the same category as those guys I mentioned earlier, but never ended up fulfilling his full potential. The way Real Madrid have been operating of late in the transfer market suggests that they are desperate to capture as many of Brazil's next generation of megastars as possible. We've seen them splash out 50 million on Vinicius Jr, another 45 on Rodrigo, 25 on Brahimi Diaz, and most recently the topic of today's video, Renier Jesus, a 33 million euros signing from Flamengo, who's gaining traction locally in Brazil as the next Kaká. The original Kaká was another world record transfer fee, signing with Madrid for 56 million in 2009. However, Kaká was not quite the same player for Madrid that he was in Milan, who won the Champions League and Ballon d'Or in 2007. But more importantly, in today's video we'll be taking a closer look at Real's new boy, try to evaluate how good he actually is right now, and give some kind of projection as to how good he can become. For more how good are they actually videos on young players, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video, we're aiming for 330 likes to represent the 33 million euros Real spent on Renier Jesus. So back on topic, Renier Jesus was born in the nation capital Brasilia on the 19th of January 2002. His father was a freestyle futsal player who no doubt had a huge influence on Renier's game today. To begin his career Jesus started at Vasco da Gama's youth programme. He bounced around several Brazilian clubs, moving firstly to Botafogo, before Flamenzi and finally Flamengo. It was only summer 2019 Jesus' career got underway at the pro level, making his first team debut for Flamengo on the 31st of July 2019. Not even a week later he was promoted to the first team full time, he then began travelling with the team and playing league games on a consistent basis. Following a run of impressive form, with his team winning the cup and league title, his contributions were rewarded with a contract extension, and this new deal included a 35 million euros buyout clause, which Flamengo implemented to protect their young ascending star, who was receiving increasing interest from Premier League clubs. While the likes of Arsenal and Everton were reluctant to fork out that kind of money on a young and unproven player, Real Madrid certainly were willing to, and with no hesitation, triggered his 35 million buyout clause resulting in Renier Jesus officially becoming a Real Madrid player. Right now Jesus is currently playing with Brazil's under-23s, who are aiming to qualify for the 2020 Olympics. He's expected to play with Real Madrid's B-side in the Spanish third tier, once he returns from international duty. Throughout his youth outings with Brazil, having played at under-15 and under-17 levels, Jesus has scored 7 goals in 12 appearances, and is now expected to star for Brazil's under-23s, during their Olympics campaign. This Brazilian wonder kid has exploded in notoriety in an incredibly short period of time. From making his Flamengo debut in July, to earning a huge money transfer in January to one of the game's biggest clubs, all in a little over 6 months. And to be honest, it really is no surprise. Jesus has continuously performed when given the opportunity, and coaches and scouts all over the world have raved about the kid's creativity and technical ability on the ball perhaps the most important skills to possess as a young player. He's your typical prototype Brazilian attacking midfielder, with samba skills, high level playmaking and good shooting from outside the box. Jesus is at his best free roaming around the final third, and excels at picking his spots and knowing when to come in and out of the game. His features for club and country have been very impressive, but whether or not he can enjoy the same kind of success in Madrid still remains to be seen because while Real are investing and giving opportunities to their new crop of young players, Jesus will face steep competition in his attempts to break into that Madrid side, because on top of their already established regulars, Madrid also have the likes of Martin Odegaard, who will be hoping to make that number 10 role his own for years to come, once returning from Real Sociedad on loan. I'm going to make a separate video talking about Odegaard soon, 
but there's no doubt Jesus will have to pay his dues in the B team first, most likely playing with Castilla till the end of the season, and he'll probably only make cameos here and there with the first team in their remaining cup games. As always with any young player, only time will tell whether or not Jesus lives up to his full potential. Right now he's displayed all the talent to suggest that he can become a world class player. But then again they said the same thing about Rubinho. But the signs thus far are about as good as they can be, and for now that's all that really matters. But I want you guys to let me know down below in the comment section, what do you guys think of René Jesus? How good do you think he is now and how good do you think he can become for Real Madrid in years to come? Let me know all your thoughts and feedback down below in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video and go check out the last video on Yusofo Makoko. Link to that can be found down below in the description. And on that note, we gone in peace.